it's Lizzie and oh my god. There we go. No. Anyway, um, so you may notice something in the title of this video, little hashtag. Um, so I've decided that I really want to try to do something for the doll community and try to bring back Bratzelda's. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off, but if you guys are interested in trying to help, just use the hashtag on Instagram posts. Like, we'll get something going. I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to tag it on this video to raise awareness that I'm trying to start it. So, so yeah. Let's get into the review. Yeah. Hell yeah. So today, in this video, we will be reviewing a doll. Obviously. Yasmina is just staring at me. Maybe she can see the future. She's like... Yeah, I know. Get to it. Hey, <laughs> I'm so funny. Okay. <sighs> it's like noon. Yeah, so I was on eBay the other day and someone listed a witchy princess, namely Sierna. See, Sierna? I'm just gonna call her by her last name, Calmer. Yeah, and they listed uh, Calmer here. I really don't know how to say that name. Sierna, Serena? Serena? Maybe? Okay, if I'm saying it wrong, I don't need a million comments telling me I'm saying it wrong. I'll figure out how to say it eventually. But for now, I'm just gonna say Serena. I'm just gonna say that right now. Because I know that there will be a lot of people like, You're saying it wrong. I'm sorry. I'm dumb. I don't know how to say words. English is my first and only language, but, ugh. Okay, that's a lie, I speak Spanish, whatever. Serena. What the hell? One turn. I turn chaos into calm. Oh, she turns chaos into calm, that's her thing. That's weird. The Bratzilla's Wakia said that she can turn anything into anything. No, that's Chloe. That's Chloe, what? What? What is your power? I don't know how accurate the Bratzel was Wikia is because they're saying Serena here is a guy. Character power description. Can merge with his surroundings to manipulate them however he chooses. Off his last name. His? Why are they calling her a guy? Are you a trap? Yeah, so I've watched the witchy- the witch- the with, the with- I can talk. Oh, I talk, I don't know. Okay, so I watched the witchy princess story on the Bratzilla's channel. The music got kind of annoying, but it seemed pretty cool. So basically, these girls were trap- were turned into pages of a book. Because that makes sense. I don't know. The Bratzilla's storyline has these two twins called the Tula Twins, and it was like a Tula sister, Tula ancestor from a hundred years ago that turned the girls into books. I don't know. I don't know why the Tula Twins were back in- allowed back in the academy, because like, if their ancestor turned the three witchy princesses into a book and refused to tell them how to undo it- Wait, if she refused to- there's a lot of gaps in the story. Like, somehow Cloetta managed to change the book into another language and then, like, more stuff happens. Cloetta is important. Cloetta is cool. So, Cloetta somehow turned the book that they had to piece back together somehow back into a book. And then she had to, yeah, she had to put the pieces back in the book and they had to change it back into a full book. And she's like, oh, yeah, I can do that. And then they just fucking... I said friggin'. Didn't swear. This is a kid's channel. I don't do that. Friggin'. That's what I said. To make a long story short, Yasmina's the main character in the webisodes, but she don't do anything over here, so. Alright, Serena, let's look at your box. So these three little birds were like, what kind of drew Sasha Bella over to the witchy, to finding the witchy princesses, because they're birds that live in their bird cages. I think she's like the leader of the witchy princess cult, because she has the biggest bird cage. See, look, they just have- these two just have regular little black bird cages, and she's got this big gold one, so clearly she's like the god of the witchy princesses, and these two are just like her little underlings. Oh, she's so pretty. She gives me a Cleo vibe. She really does. Serena Calmer. Serena's no fool. She can keep you calm and cool. What her friends love about her, she never loses her temper. Oh, 
So she's just kind of, hey, <laughs> I didn't just smoke a pound of weed. <laughs> this is a kid's channel. All right, let's unbox her. So uh, this birdcage has no like headband on it, but then the other two, that's a headband. Hers was never designed to be a headband, but like, how would it stay on her head? Ah, uh, yes. Serena Comer. Okay, honestly, it's a letdown because here she's got like black in her hair and stuff. Yellow stitches. No yellow stitches. No black in the hair. But she's still beautiful and I'm happy to have her. Now let's get into the <laughs> details. So here she is all out of the box with her bird cage on her head. As you can see, there's a little bird in there. It's held in by rubber bands, so I'm choosing to leave it in there because that's where you belong. She has a light blue teal color that kind of like fluctuates between dark and light shades, but you know, that was to be expected. I'm just going to leave it off. So she also has earrings. Uh, seems like there's a little face on them. If my camera will ever focus. I don't know. The same pendant is right here, though. Yeah, it's a little face. Yeah, so her earrings and her pendant are like the same. Close enough. She has beautiful gray eyes. Oh my god. Look at the color going on in there. She also has a bunch of like little art on her face. And she has very thin eyebrows and very white and blue eyeshadow. Oh, she's so pretty. She also has dark, dark lipstick. Yeah, that's dark. She's got black fingerless gloves, and I like what they did where they're like actual gloves, because Monster High usually just molds them on. So I don't know, I just think that's really nice of them to do, even though they're plain gloves. I just think, I don't know, it's just a cool detail to actually give her real gloves. Close enough. She also has a patchwork looking dress. The stitching is supposed to be yellow, but it's not because budget cuts. There's some mesh going on here. Blue sleeve. And she has a little cape that is like attached. Of course. And it's kind of like see-through mesh fishnet. Yeah. She also has, um, they're kind of, they're not really thigh highs because they don't go up here. But they go out here, so they're like, she has knee high, knee high fishnet stockings. Yes, with little swirls and stuff going on. And she has teal shoes that match her whole teal color scheme. Little bows on her. Yes. So overall, I really like the witchy princesses and I'm so glad I was able to get one, especially the main one with the special bird cage. A couple weeks ago, I actually did see a bid for Angelica and it shot up to $50 really quick. So when I saw Serena for 26, I was like, I have to, you know? Someone on Mercury had all three for $100 each, and I was like, nope. And then I guess they delisted them because they realized that they were trying to sell them for too much. I don't know. But honestly, if I had to pick one to try to get next, it would be Angelica. Like, I hate, I hate contributing to gender roles, but God, I really like the color pink. Like a couple weeks, a couple years ago, y'all would hear me saying, oh, I hate pink, but I like it now. It's so, it's, it's a very pretty color. I like Carolina too, it's just, I don't know, she just doesn't seem very interesting. Like yeah, she's cute, but she seems to be the least important of the group. Maybe that'll change. <laughs> and, but again, thank you guys so much for watching this review, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Well, hi there. How are you?